Shove it, man! Shove it, squad, mount up. Okay, it's just a short video today because I have about 50 things going on in my life right now and it's the best I can manage right now. It's an episode of Ring of the Hawk Season 4, the show where we watch back a wrestler's short run with a company and at the end we shove them a final grade to see if they can do the J-O-B to the H-A-W-K. Today it's going to be a tag team who wrestled for TNA right in the middle of their most successful period. TNA did have a relationship with New Japan which was still in good condition at this point in 2009. Obviously that would all change a year later with Okada. But this isn't a video about him. Normally we only count matches on the main show, but as this is a short run, I've bent the rules a little bit to make for a better video. I'm expecting some cool moves and variety in today's video. Maybe some stuff I haven't seen before, who knows. One thing's for sure though, I do know that I love their theme music. Let the Hawk know who you want to see next on Ring of the Hawk. Okay, okay, it's no limit. Smash hit or get your teeth and grit. Match 1, tag match. The Motor City Machine Guns. They are the IWGP Junior Tag Team Champions after winning them in Japan against today's heroes. Naito and Yujiro. No limit. They're accompanied by Kiyoshi, who's also from Japan. The match starts with Saban and Yujiro, who scores the first knockdown. He also catches Saban's crossbody and snap slams him for a nothing count. Saban knees him in the gut and tags out. Shelly crashes down on him before Naito makes the blind tag, and they immediately do some nice double teaming for a one count. The teamwork continues, wow this is actually a pretty fun match watching all their avalanche attacks. They try another double team which doesn't work and Saban's back in. The guns do a kick into a DDT for a two count. More double teaming from the guns as they work together to hit drop kicks. Naito's hardly been in this match. Yujiro fights them off on his own as Shelly clotheslines Saban out of his boots and Yujiro spears Shelly. Naito is in the match now and he connects with a missile dropkick. Wow, now he goes springing on the ropes, Kid Cash style into a crossbody and a dropkick also on Shelly. He quickly hits a bridging German on Saban for a two count. Saban comes back in with a sprint ball clothesline but then he walks into Yujiro who hits a catatonic. Shelly takes him out with a flatliner, this is breathless. Naito then takes him down with a flying forearm. When they get back up, the guns double boot Naito in the corner and attempt to slice bread which doesn't work. Saban thinks everything's fine though as he does a Frankensteiner, but wait, the pin is rolled over and No Limit win on their debut. What an exciting debut this was. Non-stop action and a lot of fun. Oh. Beer Money rush the ring and kill No Limit and have an argument with the Dudleys who are the IWGP heavyweight tag team champions. It's like you've seen the kids and now it's time for the adults. In all seriousness, a great fun debut. A win and I'm looking forward to seeing more from them. It's a B. Match 2, 20 man steel cage Raw Rumble match. Wrestlers come and go, I'm not sure where our guys are, but at number 10, a wild slap nuts appears. Jay, Jeff Jarrett. Sadly, slap nuts doesn't make his way into the ring due to Perk Angle. Oh, uh, here we go. Number 11, it's Naito. He dives on Consequences Creed with a drop kick. Ugh, they forgot to lock the cage door, and Naito almost falls out of the door. Luckily he recovers and springs into a crossbody on lethal and he gets a two off a slam. He moves on to work with the guns to hit a triple baseball drop kick. He also runs off Saban's back to hit a drop kick in the corner. It's weird that rivals are working together so much. Jesus, wow, Naito misses a twisting moonsault. I'm not sure where that one came from. Perk Angle is back in and he eliminates all the X Division geeks on his own. And then Naito is eliminated by Scott Steiner with a flat liner. Not too bad. We've still got Yujiro to come though, and he's got a late entry in this match. Maybe he can win it. Here comes Yujiro. Straight away, it's an Inzaguri kick to Scott Steiner. He also drills him with a clothesline and makes the pin. Perk Angle actually has to break the pin up for his friend at two. Randomly, like a dumbass, Rhino starts fighting Yujiro, even though the main event Mafia are dominating. He spears Yujiro, and he's done. The whole thing looked kind of awkward. Yujiro didn't do as well as Naito. Steiner and Perk are bored and start fake pinning each other. They shouldn't have bothered though because the match is won by Samoan Joe. A really hard match to stand out in for our guys with the stars involved in it so much. It's a D, not that much to say. Before the next match, Sheik Abdul Bashir decides to form a faction of evil foreigners of which our tag team join. Pretty sure that Sheik is actually the odd one out in this group. Match 3, 8 man tag, Lethal Consequences and the Latin American Exchange versus Evil Foreigners, The Sheik, Kiyoshi and No Limit. Man, there's just so much energy, colours and happiness back in 2009 on this show. Neither of our guys will start this one. 
The Sheik eventually brings in Yujiro. He quickly does a double hip toss on Lethal with his partner into leg drops. And that's it for now as Kyoshi comes in. Creed starts dominating, so No Limits smartly drag him out the ring. It doesn't help them though when they get baseball slides and Lethal and Homicide hit them with stereo dives. Hernandez also squashes everyone with a double axe off the apron. The Sheik and Creed are left alone in the ring when the Sheik hits a short DDT on him for the free. They are the undefeated evil foreigners. Another fun match, but didn't see too much from No Limit here, it's a D. Match 4, Explosion. IWGP Junior Tag Titles, No Limit with Kiyoshi and the Sheik versus the champions the Motor City Machine Guns. Not sure why they bumped this onto a show that nobody watches. The guns charge and kick No Limit away before the bell even sounds, what a heel move. The guns carry on with their tag team offense on Yujiro. Naito tries to dive but he catches a double kick. Now Naito catches Shelly with a flying kick to the leg which brings Yujiro in with him. They hit double hip toss on Sabin into double drop kicks. Shelly gets isolated now. More tag team work of an inverted atomic drop into a simple smack down for a two count. Now it's a double elbow to Shelly's face. They try to crush him but Shelly manages to move out the way and bring Sabin in. He throws some kicks at Naito. He can't hit the springboard close on Yujiro but he is able to almost beat him with a nice pin. Naito returns and they try to double press Saban but Shelly sneaks back in and it's turned into a nice DDT. Yujiro takes out Saban with a catatonic but Shelly dragon whips him before he can make a pin. And then wow, Naito flies him with a missile dropkick. It looks like Yujiro is going for a pin but instead he deadlifts Shelly up but he can't hit anything. Saban flies him with a clothesline and he also takes out Naito by diving off his own partner's back. Yujiro is set up in the corner as the guns hit a combination sliced bread powerbomb. That's the three. That match was breathless again. It should have been on the main show. Really enjoyed that. It's oh, an A from the hall. Yeah, now there's only one singles match in this run as Naito loses a triple threat against Chris Sabin and Homicide. I like that Naito is growing his hair out. He looks like a young Chris Sabin. A pudding bowl over the head job. Match 5. Lockdown 2009 triple threat cage match for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Belts. The challengers, Latin American Exchange versus No Limit, Naito and Yujo versus the champions, the Motor City Machine Guns. This one should be good. Naito quickly hits a springing crossbody into a dropkick on Shelly. He tries another but falls on his nutsack. He ends up in the Tree of Woe as Shelly smashes him with multiple basement dropkicks. Meanwhile, Homicide takes out Yujo over spinning back elbow. Weird moment now as Yujo no sells Homicide and he starts hulking up. Homicide runs into a power slam, but just like the previous match, Yujiro tries to deadlift him up, and it leads to nothing again. That's twice now. Maybe quit that move. Hernandez dominates the next part of the match. It's just a lot of fun. Naito and Yujiro come back with double team on Shelly. They also take out Saban with the somersault splash before Hernandez focuses on them. He starts squashing them like inconvenient bugs. He also catapults Yujiro into the cage and holds him down on his knees for Homicide to splash across them, which looks like a botch. The guns are insane in this match. Sadly, no limit are getting overshadowed here. Everybody takes turns crushing Alex Shelley in the corner. This one is LAX's match to lose. Hernandez drags Yujiro across the ropes and Homicide comes down for double stomp. Surprisingly, Yujiro kicks out. Really scary moment now for Chris Sabin in this one. The crowd goes silent, but he's seemingly okay. Naito connects with a nice power slam on Homicide. They still have Hernandez to deal with though. No Limit double press Hernandez above their heads into a back suplex. Nice one, but it's just a two count. Now there is a botch as Yujiro tries a catatonic on Hernandez and they just sort of slop to the floor. Chris Sabin almost dies again as Yujiro falls backwards on his head and looks like it hurt him. Yujiro tries to follow the botch up with a diving headbutt which misses. His own head's hurting now. Naito tries a corkscrew dive on Homicide but he misses too. The guns end up diving off the top rope at the same time on Yujiro which takes him out and Hernandez breaks up the pin. Naito calms Hernandez down with a net breaker before Homicide smashes him with a missile dropkick. Yujiro ends up on Hernandez's shoulder. It's not a place anyone wants to be. And then Homicide dives on him with the 187. The guns stop that from ending the match and they kill off Naito with the Made in Detroit. That's the three. Wow, a great match. Really fun and some stuff I've never seen before. Some pretty scary moments in this match too, but they were all trying some mad things in it. Sadly, our team did get overshadowed by the two other teams, even if they did okay. It's a B from the Hawkster. Match 6, Tournament Tag Match. No Limit with Kyoshi and the Sheik versus Jeff Rowe Holiday and EY Eric Young. Well, that was random. Surely a win here for our heroes. These guys aren't even a proper tag team. Well, it might not actually be that random. It seems like this was supposed to be the former WWE Tag Team Champions of Lance Cade and Trevor Murdoch, but instead we just got Murdoch. Young starts with Yujiro. Eric Young destroys him with his antics. Holiday joins the match, 
punch with a straight up smack. He does a snap mirror into a simple punt to the head. The elbow drop gets Holiday a two. Suddenly Yujiro manages a reversal, but like a moron he doesn't tag out and instead he runs into a full Nelson slam. He just about kicks out of that one. Yujiro grabs his eyelashes and now the tag is made. Naito hits a missile dropkick and they start crushing Eric Young. They celebrate too soon though and Holiday breaks it up. Naito back body drops Holiday for a two and as the match slows down. And I am not used to saying that in this video. Holiday is down. Yujiro looks like he's trying a double axe even though his opponent is down. Surprisingly, or not surprisingly, it doesn't work. Young has the tag. Nice snap slam for a two count on Yujiro. The evil foreigners start distracting the ref. That allows Yujiro to pick up Holiday and fall backwards on him. Seconds later, it all goes wrong and Eric Young beats Yujiro with a crucifix pin. Uh, what is the point in having your friends at ringside if this is what happens? I'm pretty sure it's the first time they've tried to interfere as well and it cost the match. Worst match so far, it's a D. Now there were two other explosion matches which are still missing from the internet. It sounds like we still have some work to do, Brian. I'm looking at you, buddy. Match 7, final match, 2 on 1 handicap match, no limit, take on Big Sexy Kevin Nash. Both members desperately attack Nash in the corner. Naito even dives with a missile dropkick and Nash takes a bat bump. Then he springs off the top but he's caught with Nash's choke slam. Nash batters Yujiro in the corner with knees and elbows. He's done now. Nash gets Naito and smashes him with a big side slam. And there's the big boot. And there's only one move left. There it is, the jackknife powerbomb for game over. It's over in two minutes. What a match. It's an S. It they barely put up a fight. That was that then. They went back to Japan. On the next show, the Sheik and Kiyoshi would side with the British Invasion and eventually Eric Young, another evil foreigner faction called World Elite. Naito went from jobbing in TNA to being in the top tournaments in Japan and he also pinned an Olympian. Whilst Yujiro, well he became a comedy pimp. I guess it beats doing the J.O.B. in TNA though, brother. Alright, we've got to shove this short run of final grade for Ring of the Hawk Season 4. I liked them, they were a lot of fun. I wish they could have had more matches against some of the more amazing tag teams at the time. Having them as an evil foreigner faction was a bit pointless, but it is what it is. It's always hard to judge a short run like this. I don't think they even spoke once, which is never going to help on the Shove It show. I think the fairest thing to do is shove them a middle of the road to see. They had some cool moves and offense, but it seemed like it only worked against certain teams. And if you don't agree with that, it was all a dream.